Silpak, your one-stop shopping for rubber and plastic materials. Uh, we are preparing our person for uh, covering with some of the Silputty BR. Relax your client uh, masking around his hair so we do not get any material tangled up. It's good to pre-weigh all your materials you're going to needing for your project prior to beginning the final impression. Apply a little soap solution on the eyebrows, any mustaches. We do have a solution called MO35, which can be added to the rubber for heavy ha facial hair. We are now going to mix up the Silputty BR. Equal pound amounts of A and B. As you see, there's two colors. Mixing them together will create a third color. Silputty BR is a polyvinyl siloxine, uh, which is a platinum based silicone. It's very safe to use against the skin. If you're concerned about uh, reaction from uh, someone that has very sensitive skin, just test a spot on the skin. And now we're going to apply it. You can start in the, the top, working down since your drips will be going on a downward slope. Advise your client to sit perfectly st still and get his nice rhythm breathing so there's no fe fear of panic. Silputty BR is a nice creamy low sag silicone material. As you see at the applies very easily has about 10 minute work time and we're now getting the air bubbles out of the eye sockets as it actually is starting to thicken some and webbing over those eye sockets the first coat on the initial skin you should take care to avoid any air bubbles. We're rubbing it out so we get a nice smooth void free surface. We ran out of material so we go right back in and mix up some more. You do not have to mix enough material up for one direct application as you have a limited work time with the material. Constantly recoating everything will bond to the next layer. We are doing the mouth area last just so you know people are comfortable that they're not suffocating straws have been used in the nose to extend the uh, breathing area beyond the material Now we will begin to build up a thickness on the face. This process will take at least 30 minutes to complete. 
and maybe a little longer if you're making the mother mold also. A hair dryer with mild blowing air and some heat will accelerate the cure a little quicker so we can continue on. Uh, we're checking for cure. Material may be still a little sticky. The warmth of the body and also the warmth from the hair dryer will give you a quicker cure. Now we're preparing plaster bandages. We're using extra fast 5 inch bandages. And in 5 minutes these will be set up. Always pre-cut all your bandages before applying them to your subject matter. Laying everything out prior to any project helps the project go more smoother and continually. Overlap the bandages which gives you more strength. Rubbing the bandages will infuse the plaster from one bandage to another and smooth everything out. We're going to be careful here not to plug up his air passages. And to follow the contour of the Sil Putty BR so this mother mold will cradle it exactly. Our subject is very relaxed as you see. So it's very important to talk to your client, you know, during the process and to keep them totally relaxed. We are now removing the plaster. And we can feel that everything is shaped and, and hard. Next we will gently remove the tape and remove the sill putty BR. We want to start pulling from one edge slowly with mild pressure not to suddenly muscle and rip the rubber. The finger is an aid to help the release of the rubber in the skin. Patience and time will complete a good casting. Slowly around the hairlines. With adding our new hair removal additive, the MO350, it will save you the time for untangling the hair from the rubber. We now lay it into the plaster and we now have a mold with a mother mold to hold it for casting. We're now taking some sill putty and plugging up the actual nostril cavity holes so when we cast this mold we get no leaks. All this is done immediately after removing it and putting it into place. Feather everything in this sill putty will take 40 minutes to finally set up before you want to even attempt to cast a plastic.